Welcome, in front of me is a Oppo A54 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that I can do on this device. So we're going to start off with the personalized section and the settings where just quickly open it up where you can customize your well, look of the device. So there's several different things, not only wallpaper and theme, but as you can see you can customize the colors of like toggles, layouts, fonts, uh, basically shapes of the toggles, icon styles. Uh, along with, can I get rid of this? There we go. And additionally, you can also change the sizes of icons, spacing, names, and stuff like that. So it gives you a fairly great customization over your device, if that is something that you like to do. Now, anyway, moving on to the next one, it's going to be the refresh rate of the device. Now, I already have set it up to be 90, but uh, I do recommend you to go and do it. Now it, it is under the settings display category and under more screen refresh rate and you have the two different ones so 60 and 90. And also one thing that uh, that is nice here is the animation the two different ones between like well the differences between 90 and 60 now they are severely exaggerated uh, but that is just so you can see the difference between between those two. So anyway, set it to 90 and you will have much smoother experience using your device. Now moving on to the next one, it is also going to be under the display. It's going to be the dark mode, which you can simply toggle it on or off if you want to. Uh, but the better part right here is the addition for smart switch or auto switch, uh, however you want to call it. So what we'll do is uh, it will automatically switch between da dark and a light mode depending on well, the time of the day, so sunrise and sunset which will give you basically the best of both worlds so during night time you'll probably be in dark mode uh, or probably want to be in dark mode and this will automatically switch to it and then uh, during the daytime you probably want light mode because it's going to be easier to see the screen and especially during the sunlight um, so this will basically automatically switch to it now anyway moving on to the next one it's gonna be the three finger split screen. It's just a quick little toggle. Uh, actually, it's by default turned on, but you probably didn't notice it yet. So when you open up an application that you want to split screen with uh, and you want to put it on the top, just find some decent app like, for instance, YouTube. And all you really need to do is three finger, oop, swipe up, and it basically goes straight to split screen. Now from here, you can open up another application that you want to split screen with. And there we go, I just chose settings. And you can use two different apps at the same time. Now the benefit of, uh, of YouTube being on top uh, additionally is the fact that even when you go home, uh, this will continue to play whatever you have turned on on YouTube. So it will not pause the video uh, unless you close it or lock the device as you probably are used to already. So anyway, moving on to the last option that I wanted to show you, it's going to be the gesture navigation. Now for this entire video, I've been using the typical boring buttons at the bottom. So to get the gestures, all you need to do is go again into the settings. This time around, we're going to go into the convenience. Where is it? Oh, there we go. Convenience tools. And from here, right at the top, you have navigation and simply select the swipe gestures from both sides. It does give you a quick animation as well on how to use it, but going quickly over it, you swipe from the side to go back. This works from either side. You swipe up to go home and swipe up and hold to go to recent. Now, additional tip that I will give you for using the gestures is when you're trying to, for instance, go home, uh, start the gesture off of the screen, so from the bezel instead of uh, from the display app, because this will sometimes trigger just a swipe up instead of the home gesture. And when you're starting it off the, off the screen on the bezel up, it will basically ensure that you always get it correct. So anyway, this will conclude all the tweaks and tricks I wanted to share. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.